Hi friends, this is Gani. In this video, I am going to explain you how to create splice connection between two circular pipes, just like this. Here you can see, this is the different pipe and this is different pipe. We are going to connect these two pipes with this splice connection. And here you can see, this is the circular hollow pipe. Before going to create this type of splice connection for more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under the videos, you can find out so many Tecla structure related videos. I hope these videos might be helpful to you. And for more Tecla structure related videos, at the top right corner, please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when I upload a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, let's start. Before going to create this type of connection, I am going to take a new project. Go to the menu, select new, click on create. Yes. Click on here and close it and maximize this window. Go to the steel and select this beam and place it here you can place it anywhere right click on mouse and interrupt here you can see this is the by default you'll get the standard i section profile uh, we need to change this profile so double click on it you can browse from here pipe if you don't have this option then you can come here and type here pipe and then go to the profile and click on here minimize it and go to the circular hello section here in that you can use the standard profiles here pipe profiles otherwise you can take uh, with custom profile here for example I'm going to take here the tube and uh, let's take 8 inch pipe and thickness let's take 3 by 8 is the thickness of this pipe and 8 inches the outer eye of the pipe click on apply ok uh, we are going to change the color of it here and then go to the bottom here in the bottom uh, make it here at the depth middle because the pipe we are going to take the middle so click on modify and close it you can see we will get this pipe profile just like this after that we are going to make this single pipe into two number of parts so go to the edit select this split option and select this pipe click at exactly middle of this pipe now we have two different parts here this is the one pipe and this is the second pipe now we are going to make the connection between these two pipes so go to the, go to the application components by using the shortcut control f here go to the steel detailing in the steel detailing come here splice connection click on here in the splice connection take this option click on here round joint plates 124 click on here and close this window select one pipe and then select the second pipe here you can see click on space right click on mouse reader view here you can see now we have by default connection for editing double click on it and close it go to the parts window tab here you can see base plate in the base plate we are going to take half inch thickness when I click on modify you can see the thickness will be vary now the thickness of this connection plate should be half inch you can control the diameter of this connection plate also for example I am going to take uh, 1.5 feet 1.5 feet means 1 feet 6 inches click on modify here you can see now this diameter of the connection plate should be one one feet six inches then come here tube stiffeners 
enter here let's take 1 by 4 inch thickness of this uh, stiffener click on modify here you can see now we have stiffener with 1 by 4 inch thickness after that you can control the width and length of this stiffener from here for example let's take 4 inch is the thick width of this stiffener click on modify here you can see now this width of this stiffener should be 4 inches we are going to change 4.5 inches click on modify that's it after that you can control the length of this pipe also let's take 8 inches length of this stiffener click on modify here you can see now this length of this stiffener should be 8 inches then go to the parameters in the parameters options by using these options you can control this chamfer value here you can see you can control this chamfer value and uh, you can control this option and uh, this dimension also by default here we have half inch chamfer value and this dimension also uh, as per your requirement you can change this value after that go to the bolt tab in the bolt tab you can control the size of this bolt for example i'm going to take half inch click on modify when i click on modify here you can see the changes here diameter of size of this bolt now the size of this bolt should be half inch uh, let's take 3 by 4 inch diameter of this bolt click on modify that's it uh, you can control the distance between the two bolts in the diagonal dimension from this option let's take one feet click on modify you can see now the distance between the two bolts in the diagonal dimension should be one feet just like that you can control this connection plate and the sizes and everything with these options that's it click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse redraw view you can see this is different and this this is different pipe with this type of connection uh, for differentiate i'm going to change this uh, color of this pipe let's take this color you can see now we have two different pipes with this connection that's it if you have any doubts please comment below if you like this video please like it and share it for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under the videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe thank you